Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Melbourne has its own character and attitude and behavior. It is busy, it's vibrant and you know what, it's the art capital of Australia. It has very renowned caves and it is known for its culture rich and friendly people. But there is a legendary monument which whispers the past, which tells the stories from the war and the shrine of remembrance. So in this video, we are gonna explore the shrine of remembrance from inside and outside and when it is constructed and how to reach the shrine of remembrance and many more. So without any delay, Let's get into the video. Let's explore the options of reaching there. So first, we'll see how to reach there by trains. If you're coming by train, you have to get down at Flinders Street Station and you have to look for the exit. And at Flinders Street Station, you will have the lifts, elevators at end of the platform so that you can reach the level ground there are a lot of caves and convenience store and chemist warehouse if you need any medicines kind of thing you can go there and buy them and grab a coffee and come outside look for the exit like this which is exit towards this fanston street so come outside and if you reach too early like me grab a coffee and explore the surroundings of the Frida Street. It's very beautiful. You will find a famous church over there, diagonally opposite to the Frinders and you can go over there and take a pictures of Frida Street Station. It has a beautiful architecture and like I did, I was just exploring and seeing the busy people and enjoying my morning coffee. You don't need to do anything really in Melbourne, you just stand at the corner of the street and time will pass like that. If you're coming by trams, the tram numbers 35, 70 and 75 has a stop at Frida Street Station, Swanson Street. And if you're coming by tram numbers 19, 57 and 59, these tram numbers are terminated at Flinder Street Station. You have to walk towards east after getting down these trams at Flinders Street Station and if you are coming along the Swanson Street you don't need to get down at Flinders Street except you are travelling on tram number 1. From here the Shrine of Remembrance is around 1.5 km. If you want you can walk. It would take around 20 minutes and there are multiple good locations along the way. You can have photos over there and if you don't like to walk, you can take the tram from the stop number 13. There are two tram stops beside the Flinders Street station opposite to each other. You have to go to the stop towards the St. Kilda corridor and catch any tram except the tram number 1. There are three stops away, so they will announce the stop. You can get down at the Shrine of Remembrance stop. Upon the arrival, you will be amazed by the beautiful and magnificent Shrine of Remembrance structure. The place is very calm and very beautiful. You will hear a lot of bird chirpings and there are beautiful trees and there are benches to the left and right of the walkway so you can sit and can take photos. It's a beautiful place. Friends, this is the eternal flame which was on since 1954. It was designed by Ernest Milestone. The eternal flame symbolizes the eternal life. The belief is that if the flame does not die, then neither will the memory of the fallen.
there is a cenotaph beside this eternal flame which depicts the six men in uniforms of three Australian services, Navy, Army and Air Force. They are carrying the dead body of comrade draped with the Australian flag. The opening hours of strain is 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and 4.30 is the last entry and there are guided tours available every one hour except at 12 p.m. and the entry is free if you want you can donate upon entering the shrine you will be greeted by the warm welcoming people over there at the information desk if you want you can book tour in advance on the online from their website or you can book here from the information center there is a cave inside the shrine you can see the sell coffee and coffee tastes amazing I had tasted it this gallery of remembrance has more than 800 artworks on historical objects interactive multimedia rare images and films so this gallery represents the stories of Australians in the war time for more than 100 years so we need at least one and a half hour to explore all here in the gallery of remembrance and it has some iconic memorial window if you see this is the iconic war memorial window it was originally installed in saint paul's church in 1903 this board shows how many civilians and soldiers died in first world war which was happened during 1914 and 1918 your heart will be warmed with the facts and you will be immersed in that experience The colors and guidance have been given into the custody of shrine trustees at Solomon ceremonies and conducted in accordance with the long established traditions. Lighthouse guidance date from 1850s and most recently 2006. Five guidance were laid up. The crypt colors originated from 27 Victorian units of Australian Army and represent some 25% of all Victorian regiment colors. Other colors are laid up elsewhere in the Victoria and five are held in the collection of Australian War Memorial. Canberra. In center of the crypt stands the father and son sculpture created to the honor the courage and sacrifice of two generations of Victorians who served and died in the First and Second World War. It, it is symbolic of the service of many Victorian families in which the father served in the First World War and the son served in the Second World War. This is the heart of Shrine of Remembrance, the Sanctuary. Every year, the 11th hour of 11th day of 11th month, the natural sun ray falls on the word love from the top. After your heart is filled with so many heavy memories, you need to lighten up yourself. So, there is a balcony up over there, but unfortunately, the balcony have no accessibility entrance. There are only stairs. You need to climb up the stairs to reach the balcony. But after reaching over there, it's purely refreshing and rejuvenating you can relax over there and you can take a very good pictures you will enjoy the panoramic view of the melbourne city and you can have a look at the senate of and it's just amazing whenever you're visiting any places in melbourne make sure to carry your water bottle backpack cap and sunglasses and 
in the bag you should have an umbrella you can't predict the weather i hope i covered all the required information about this train if i did any mistake please excuse me and apologies for the any errors i put into this video and if you really like this video please do like the video and comment down what you have liked more about the video and it takes so much of time and efforts for me to make these kind of videos so a subscribe to the channel would be appreciated and thank you so much for watching i'll meet you in a very good video next time see you guys